Michelle, um, I wanted to do a quick haul video. Well, I got a lot of things here. Excuse me with my eye problem. Um, I'm going to be going on vacation in a few months. This is my last massive haul that I'm going to be doing. I will probably be picking up things here and there just for a vacation. But I wanted to do a haul video. I guess like kind of like a last one until like um, uh, like the end of the summer kind of thing. Just to give you a little teaser, and then we'll do other videos throughout the summertime. But let's get started with this one. The first place we are going to do, if I can find where I put the thing, there it is. A friend of mine and I, we did um, a little like, we sold our items to each other. So the first thing I got was this Dune and Baroque like cosmetic bag. She never used it. I actually took the tags off this thing. This she paid $68 for. For this and two pairs of shoes, I paid 50 bucks. And I was really happy with that. And this, I'm actually going to use on vacation. I'm going to put my toiletries in it, which I will show you at the end of the video. The other thing that I bought from her was these leather booties. Um, I think the company's called Twisted or Twine, something like that. But it's a beautiful leather booty. It's got this really pretty detail. I've been looking for a heeled booty for a while, but I never found a style that I absolutely fell in love with. But I think this is just a really classic style, would go great with just about anything, and it's super buttery and soft, as you can see, moves really easy. I was really, really happy with this, and I forgot what she paid for these. Uh, she didn't tell me, but she never, she wore these, she said, once or twice, but she's not very good in heels. She prefers flat shoes, so she's like, I don't even know why I bought them. She's like, so, that was one of the other ones. And these ones I was really happy about, because uh, I have a pair very similar to this that I bought going on like five years now they're falling apart and I needed a replacement and when I found these and I tried them on and they fit perfectly I was so stoked she could not walk in them she's like I only wore them in my room a few times uh, they were way too high for me I don't know what I was thinking when I bought them but like I said I got that shoe the duty and broke and these for 50 bucks so I was really stoked about that she paid 15 for it they were originally $30 I know it's kind of hard to see <clears throat> I think it was Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of the two. But it's this gorgeous gladiator type sandal made by Paprika. This is on top. And it's kind of like a gold brushed look. The inside's kind of a bronzy color, but they've gold, like antique golded on top. And I really like these. And like I said, the one that I do wear all the time that's similar to this is falling apart and I needed a replacement. And it's like the same heel and everything. It was like perfect timing. Next, I went to Walmart. And I bought this pendant from the Sea Life collection from Blue Moon. I love that collection. And I got this cameo type uh, pendant. It's got a dolphin on it. I really like it. It was very reasonable. Next, I got this uh, Maybelline Volume Express Mascara, the Falsies Flared. Uh, my old one is getting nasty, so I needed a new one, of course. Then I went to FYE. I returned two movies. I had... Um, Return Dark Country and I Return Drive Angry. Both were horrible. Don't waste your money. Anyway, they had buy two used movies, get one free. So this is the one I got for free. This is the original Casper movie. Um, this was my favorite out of all the Casper films. I really like it. Um, Bill Pullman has always been one of my favorite actors. I loved him in Independence Day. Just a great movie. I've always loved that movie. Now, I like collecting... Disney movies or older movies that were like you could tell were hand drawn before computers came in and took over. Um, this I believe is one of those films too, even though this came out later, but you could still kind of tell that um, the pictures were hand drawn. This is Home on the Range, and it's about these cows trying to collect a bounty to save their farm. I've never seen it. I've seen the trailer. It was only seven ninety nine, so I figured, what the hey, I'll pick it up. And then the last one that I picked up, again, um, I do love hand-drawn ones like Snow White or Pinocchio. Those always will have a special place in my heart. But I do like the um, computer uh, graphic ones as well. Now, this one I haven't seen, but it was such a great deal. I couldn't pass it up. And looking on the back of this particular movie, um, the graphics look incredible for computer graphics. This is the Disney Christmas Carol. And this is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. I got it used for $14. They're both in there. It still has the little code. I don't know if they used it or not, but it's still in here. And I just thought that this was like a steal. It doesn't even look like that they were used. 
And I know this movie hasn't been out for very long, so I mean, for it to make it to the used bin. Yeah, I know you can't tell, but it, there's not a single scratch on it. Which is why I love FYE. I have been buying the used ones from them for so long. Joey's always a little iffy about it. But um, I only had one problem one time with a used DVD that I purchased. I brought it back with my receipt and everything because I always keep the receipts until I know for sure that there's no problems with them, just in case. And I was, uh, it wouldn't play. It got to a point and it just wouldn't play and I turned the CD around there was a huge gash in it. Brought it back. I, I called them. I explained to them what happened. I brought my receipt and the movie and they replaced it. No harm done. Um, FYE is very, very good that way. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to show you Kohl's. Now, Joey bought me a pair and I got another I bought myself a pair of shoes as well. I'm going to show you what Joey got me first. It is from Candies. Now, these are not a summer item, but uh, they were so great. I had to have them. And he owed me $10, and he's like, instead of just giving me $10, I'm just going to buy you the shoes. Um, I love Candies. I love their jewelry and their clothing. So when I saw these, I fell in love. It is a suede-like. It's not actual suede. A suede-like... Um, thigh high boot with a nice wedge on it and a little tiny platform but they're super soft and when I tried them on these are like the perfect size especially if it's really icy out now what really made my day is like I said I told you they were $10 they were 90% off this is a hundred dollar pair of shoes now candies is uh, known to be a little expensive but I mean ten dollars you can't go wrong for that so that was Joey's gift to me now, I bought from Kohl's. I've been looking for a couple pairs of jeans because some of my, I have some from high school still and they're falling apart to the point where it's disgusting. So I found these pair, they're made by the So brand. S-O, right, S-O. And I got these lovely pants. Pretty basic in the back, but in the front is what I really like. It's got this flap thing that comes across, and I think it makes it just look more, I don't know, sophisticated isn't the word, more, I don't know, seamless, I guess, is the word I am looking for. Anyway, these were originally $40, 80% off, I paid 8 bucks for them, and I think that's a fair price. I mean, I don't really like spending $40 on a pair of jeans, I have done it, um, with baby fats years ago before Walmart started selling fat fashions, which kind of irked me a little bit because at that point I think I spent $80 on a pair of baby fat jeans because they were all like acid washed and stuff like that. I regret doing it now. Do I still have them? Absolutely. Still wear them, but a little irritated that I spent that money. I'm going to get my, my money's worth out of those pants. I will wear them until I'm 90. But anyway, then I bought these pair. When Joey saw them, he was like, wow, those are really nice. And I wasn't sure until I put them on. And then when I saw them on, I was like, yeah, you're right. And these are made by L-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E, which I believe is also a magazine. I'm pretty sure it's a magazine, yes. Now, this is this gorgeous wedge platform shoe. It's black. And these do look like flowers. But, like, if you look at the top, they kind of look more like butterflies to me. I don't know. They're very comfortable. Very, like, I tried them on my new jeans. And they look absolutely perfect. Um... With the right outfit, you can really make these shoes. Now, these were originally $74.99, and I paid $14.99. They were 80% off. And that's, I like getting, I mean, everybody knows that I'm a bargain shopper. I like getting things on sale. Um, certain items that you can use as staple items or items that you know aren't going to go out in one season, you can do that with. And, but I'm not the type that, I do like following the fashion trends, yes, but I also, if it goes out of season or out of fashion, I'm still going to wear it. I've had a pair of Gladiator sandals for about 10 years. When I first bought them, they were not cool. They were something that hippies in college wore, but I loved them. I still have them. I still wear them. People make fun of me for years for buying them, and then I forget three or four years ago, everybody had had these gladiator sandals, and they were paying big bucks for them, yeah, I paid like $24 for my, what I like to call Jesus sandals, years ago, and I was like, well, you were making fun out of me 
like just last year for wearing them, and now, bam, you have to have a pair. Uh, what can you do? Anyway, I went to Five Below, and if you're not familiar with that store, it's a store where everything in it is $5 and under. Uh, the first thing I got was from my brother, his girlfriend, and him aren't working out. Uh, he got hurt recently. He cut his finger pretty bad. So, I thought I would cheer him up. I got him this Shirakiku Carbonated Ramoni drink. It's lemon, uh, not lemon, melon flavored. Um, he likes these weird kind of Asian and Oriental snacks and foods, and he keeps a lot of the packaging. And when I saw this, and it's glass, I thought he would really like it. And I know he had, like, a melon flavored, like, it kind of looked like a devil dog, but it was, like, this big. And he had a big package full of those, and he really liked it. So this, to me, reminded me of something that Anthony would like. I don't think I would like lemon, uh, melon flavored, um, soda, but... To each his own. Next, I got a traveling toothbrush. Because when I went on vacation the last time, I brought my regular toothbrush. That little thing you put on the head, yeah, it didn't work. It came off and it wrecked my toothbrush. And I don't want to do that again. So I got this. It's got little holes in the bottom to air it out so it doesn't get funky. But this is just a basic toothbrush. I mean, we're, we're going to be gone for a week, so I'm not going to be missing my... um. I have a Sonic Care now. At the time I didn't, I just used like an a advanced Oral-B thingy, but I have a Sonic Care now, uh, and I don't want to bring that with me on vacation. I will deal with not having it for a week. I will be okay. Um, it's going to be a lot different when I come back to it, because if you're not used to Sonic Care, it feels really funky, but uh, I'm not bringing that with me on vacation, no. And then I got, okay, this was a dollar, and this was also a dollar, and this is just a degree for women deodorant, just a small one, so there's a thing on it. It's shower clean. Mm, I love that smell. Anyway, because, again, I don't want to bring a huge... I have a, the big ones, and I don't want to bring that with me in my bag. And, oh, just in case I didn't tell you, this was $1.49. And the last thing I got, which I was really excited about, I paid $5 for it. And I think it was originally, like, $20. This is the unofficial Lady Gaga book. And I was going to get it regardless, because the price was so good. But there's one picture when I flipped through it originally that caught my attention, because I've never seen it before. Maybe it's just me. But it was this picture with her and um, Snow White, the evil queen. And I thought that was really cool because I love the old classic um, Disney movies. And I love Lady Gaga. And I just thought this was a really, just a really awesome looking picture. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's really cool. Mm. 